This video is aimed at those who have purchased a Ministry of Nodes Bitcoin node box or considering purchasing one. It contains information on how to set up and use your node box and provides an overview of its key features. Let's now look at what comes inside the packaging. The package will contain the node box itself, a power supply, and a small Ethernet cable. The first step is to take the Ethernet cable and plug one end to the back of the node box, like so. And the other end will need to go into your router at home using any free port that is available on your router. The next step is to plug in the power supply. One end will go into the wall for electricity and the other end will go into the node. Your node box should start up automatically as soon as electricity is introduced. Be sure to keep your node box in a well-ventilated dry area and away from small children and pets. Once you have connected the node box to your router and plugged the power in, head on over to your existing PC or laptop. It can be either running Windows, Mac or Linux. First, ensure that your computer or laptop is connected to the same network as the router, either via Wi-Fi or Ethernet cable. Second, be sure to disconnect any VPNs that may be running on your device and quit out of them. Next, open up your browser and navigate over to nodebox.local colon 9090. You may get a security warning. Click on advanced and proceed to the site anyway. You will be presented with a dashboard login screen. Once you have arrived at this destination, consider bookmarking this site for future reference. The username is Satoshi and the password is also Satoshi and hit login. You will be presented with an overview dashboard giving you information about your notebooks hardware as well as system information, CPU and memory usage. If you turn on administrative access as shown, using again the Satoshi password. This will open up the reboot and shutdown functionalities. If you click on the storage tab on the left hand menu, you will be shown how much of your disk space is currently used. If you click into the detail of that disk, it will show you the capacity as well as its performance. Finally, if you click on the terminal button, you will get access to the command line prompt. Here you can find out whether or not your node is synchronized to the Bitcoin network by issuing the command bitcoin cli space get blockchain info and press enter. The blocks will show you where you are currently at. The headers will show you where you need to be. Eventually they should equal each other. If you press the up button on your keyboard, you will quickly be able to issue that command again and see its status. Once you are up and synchronized to the network, it is time to use your Bitcoin node. On your computer, install Sparrow Wallet from sparrowwallet.com. This Bitcoin software wallet can be installed on Windows, Mac or Linux. Upon running Sparrow Wallet for the first time, you will be presented with an introduction wizard. We will be connecting through to our own private Electrum server. Click on Configure Server. Or alternatively, cl click on File, Preferences, and click on the Server tab. In this window, click on the Private Electrum tab. For the URL, type in nodebox.local and the port 5001 and hit test connection. You will be greeted with a welcome message. From here, you can create a new wallet by going to File, New Wallet. And you can use Sparrow to import your hardware wallet, such as a Trezor, Ledger or Cold Card and others, or to create new software wallets. Note, plug your hardware wallet directly into your computer. Do not use the USB ports 
of your notebox. The final feature that comes with your notebox is your own copy of a blockchain explorer called mempool.space. You can access this by opening up a new tab on your browser and typing in notebox.local colon 4080. Consider bookmarking this page as well. Here you can explore the blockchain and view the status of your transactions and addresses by searching for them in the search bar.